It has been a really hard week. We've lost some animals. The hardest loss was Squirrel Bunny. He died unexpectedly. There weren't any signs beforehand that I could see to tell me he was struggling. We were more attached to Squirrel than any of our other rabbits. I'll put together a little tribute sequence for him at the end of this video. Two chickens also died. They too are getting older, which is why I've been raising new chickens each year to help replenish our flock. Our rabbit Marigold is really not doing well these days. Wendy has asked that I not show her in this condition on camera, so I'll respect that. She's old and just... Marigold, along with Daisy and Autumn, had been one of our very best breeding rabbits. We're not harvesting rabbit meat like we used to. It's just a lot of work and a lot of stress and it doesn't taste quite as good as chicken at least not to us so we haven't been breeding new rabbits to replace them autumn is still doing very well but you may remember that daisy our very first rabbit did pass some time ago marigold is living but it's clear that she's not going to recover and thrive and her quality of life has just, it's diminished. It's, it's to the point where we've decided it's time to put her down. It's our decision on this channel not to show the process of killing any of our animals. But I will explain what I'm going to do. kind of a mess right now, but uh, this device right here, mounted on the vegetable washing station, is called a hopper popper. What I'm gonna do is just slide the station out a little so there's more room for me to work with. The head will slip right in here. I'll put my foot, I'll put my foot on that two by four for really good leverage. And with one quick, strong pull, the rabbit's neck will break. Dealing with the loss of animals is just the reality of homesteading. Some losses are harder than others. It is a grim task to have to kill an animal that you've cared for. Keeping rabbits out here in these rabbit tractors has always been an overflow situation for us. It's time to retire them, at least for now. Two rabbits that are out here don't have names. I've always just called them the yard bunnies. They're gonna move into marigold and squirrels old cages. Daily chores will be easier with all of our rabbits closer together. And with most of them right here under this carport, it won't matter if it's raining. It'll also be nice not to have to slide those rabbit tractors around the yard every day. Another benefit is we won't be wasting their rabbit manure. Maybe I shouldn't say wasting. It does fertilize the lawn, I guess. And some of it will get sucked into the lawnmower which ends up as compost for next year's garden. Look out there, Ross. Don't want you to get too wet.
it's okay. Yes, it's okay. I know. I know. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. Sweet home. Your turn, little bunny. Yes, it's okay. Since the yard bunnies are up here now, Wendy's come up with names for them. This is Laverne. And this is Shirley. Internet job. I can see down to his ears, they're all sticky. <laughs> Wanna come out? This is Squirrel. Squirrel was from our first litter of baby bunnies. His mom is Daisy over there and he was just the friendliest bunny out of the whole litter of bunnies. So he would always be the one at the door of the cage and would be very curious and sticking his little face around and going like this. And he still does this all the time. If you're out there, he's at his door going like this. Trying to figure out what you doing. What you doing? <laughs> and he makes little oinky noises, which is funny. He's always oinking. <laughs> um, but when it came time to butcher the baby rabbits, they weren't babies anymore, but when it came time to butcher them and put them in the freezer, I just couldn't bear to see little squirrel butchered he was my favorite and he was so cute and sweet and things and so we saved him to the last and then I was just holding them one last time and we just couldn't do it so we ended up keeping him um, just because he's so friendly and entertaining and I thought well that's kind of a good bunny to breed into our future bunnies we know he's at least part New Zealand, which is what all our rabbits are, is New Zealand reds and whites, but because when we got Daisy, she was supposed to be just a female rabbit, not a bred female rabbit. So I'm, I'm not really sure what she was bred with. I suspect it might have been a Rex because the lady who I got them from had been toying around with the idea of breeding her Rex rabbits with a New Zealand or getting more New Zealands and breeding and trying to figure out what she was doing I guess but I think she mostly had Rexes and so I think probably what happened was that she was getting out or somebody else was getting in and we got a rabbit that had just been bred because it was literally like 30 days after we had her that there were baby bunnies <laughs> so that means about two days before I picked her up <laughs> she had been bred we really like him he's he's a good big bunny you saw how big he is and he's got nice soft fur he is 
kind of a stinker and is a little obnoxious now that he's an adult bunny. He still likes to kind of be pet on and he'll sit here at the door and wait for me to open it and play with him again. He likes to have his little ears scratched. So he's very friendly, he comes right up to you and wants attention. But he also is insistent upon that attention. So we used to have him over by with in the open cages and I decided I don't like having him over there because when I'm talking to the other rabbits he will jump up and go like this and pee on you. <laughs> He's definitely got more personality than all the rabbits put together except maybe his mom Daisy. Daisy's got her own personality too. <laughs> She's one of those who's like come see me or I don't want to see you right now. I will smack you. <laughs> so she's she's got personality too, but he's he's just a really sweet guy. He's very funny. He makes his, his cuddle time. So yeah, so that's why we decided to keep Squirrel and Squirrel Story here on our farm. Yeah. My favorite story about Squirrel was um, when it came time to feed the bunnies as babies, Squirrel was more interested in attention than yeah. the food. He would just just want to be, you know, around people. Yep. He was a people rabbit from the beginning and still is. Definitely our friendliest rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. go where nobody has gone before. Because <laughs> he doesn't like to have his feet be wet. Uh -huh. When he gets out of his cage and he gets his feet wet, he always just flicks them. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. He just wants to start his legs out. Yeah. He's not small boy. He's my good boy. Isn't he? Are you my good buddy? Hmm? Yeah. Mama's boy. It you might know. be safer over there. Hiding behind me. It might be safer <laughs> over there. Squashy buddy. <laughs> Squashy.
He's just such a sweetie, isn't he? He's a good rabbit. He's the best one. Of you. <laughs> rogue. You That's funny. just how Rogue says hello. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. Oh, she wanted to be bigger. Hi, baby. Did she headbutt you? Wendy's got Squirrel, our bunny, in here because a large tree just fell partially onto our house and came really very close to hitting his cage. It's the middle of the night, it's a windstorm, and this is just kind of an unexpected, unexpected event. How you doing? I'm asking Squirrel how he's doing. How are you doing? Squirrel's fine. I thought my rabbits were all dead because I heard the tree come down on them. And I have a goat that's pregnant and I was worried about her. And all my other animals. He got scared, didn't he? No, he feels bad. The two rabbits we keep in this hutch got out this morning. Squirrel here is the easiest rabbit to catch. His favorite thing in the world is to have a little human attention. So he'll just run right up to you and wait to be picked up. George, on the other side, on the other hand, really is more interested in female attention. So we found him. Right over here. Next to Autumn's cage. He was just hoping that she would come down and play. So we've been bringing some bunnies in. So far it's just been one or two at a time, but right now we've got three bunnies inside. That's a little more than we intended to. Squirrel down here is doing better than a lot of them. He's actually been eating some of these little salad greens that we've soaked in water. So he's getting some more moisture I'm sorry to say that one of our youngest rabbits, little white rabbit. Oh, watch this one. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. Come back here, it's a girl. <clears throat> okay, you just stay here, squirrel, where it's safe. We can't have all these rabbits running around the house, so we have to keep a pretty close watch on them. Anyway, the little white rabbit, Marshmallow. Come back here, squirrel. Okay, come on. They're getting all filthy, walking around on our dirty floor. That little white rabbit did not seem like it was in as much distress as it was until the very end. So our young rabbits 
do seem to be affected by this heat just as much as the older ones. They just don't show it as much. So now we've lost three rabbits that we intended to keep. We didn't have marshmallow for very long, <clears throat> but it's still, it's still not a, not a good thing 